Hi everybody, I'm Tim from TroutandFeather.com and though I've been tying flies and fly fishing for over 30 years, we're going to concentrate on the videos that I've been making for nearly a decade. I'm going to go over basically some of the video cameras that I've used and without a doubt my number one tip in making your own fly tying videos. In videos, we always start with the cameras, the body. My first video that I like to use, my first recorder, was basically a little camcorder. What was nice about it, I had a little remote control and it allowed me to zoom in and see the fly a little bit enlarged and then zoom back out. Same thing whenever I was speaking. However, I wanted something with a little better macro ability. So what I upgraded to was a Canon Rebel. It was just high quality. The lens on it was so much better. Now, it was what they call a crop sensor, which is actually really nice because it kind of enlarges that fly or the image for you a little bit better. But then eventually, I wanted to upgrade one more time, and there's always going to be that one more time, and I jumped up to another Canon, and this one's a 6D Mark II. It's considered a full-frame camera. What was nice about this one that I'm still using to record this very video is that it has a screen that flips out so I can watch myself if I'm so inclined to make sure kind of everything's in frame, make sure the fly's in focus and that when I hold up materials, they're being held in front of the camera. So it's been a really great camera for me. However, I'm still kind of getting the itch to jump into some other 4K options. I have a 4K camera that I carry on the water, but that's another story. And here's mine. It has all about the ability to control the focus. Basically, auto versus manual focus. Right now, while I'm recording this, my lens is set to auto focus. So you can see me, I should be in perfect focus. And what's cool about it, if I move like this, the focus should move with me. And that's really cool. However, when you're tying flies, I don't like it set to auto focus. I like manual focus. Because more than likely, that fly is going to be relatively stationary. And there's the really tricky thing about autofocus when you're tying a fly, if you're moving your hands behind the vise or off to the side or even on you, the camera may focus there and take the focus off the hook. So if you're thinking about upgrading and buying a new camera, look for one that has the ability to have a manual focus when you're tying those flies. Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you'd like to watch more videos like this, you can check them out on my website, which is troutandfeather.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below in the comment section where you can email me. should be showing up on the screen right now at tkamisa at gmail.com. If you're into social media, you can find Trout and Feather on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. I am now even making these videos called TikToks. I mean, TikTok is hysterical. You may have seen some of the short videos that I've posted on my website. Uh, gosh, they are so much fun to make and I hope you enjoy them too. Well, once again, thank you ahead of time for watching this video and I hope to see many of you soon.